Hello YouTube. I wanted to show you a new family to the heads, gauges and displays and gadgets I will I'm making. And uh, as you might have seen before, this is my altimeter and this is my two-way remote and these are the various uh, PCBs that I have. They all have different functions obviously. And while working on a new GPS code, I ran into a little problem with the SPI display and the micro SD card library. And uh, while looking for a solution for that, I found a different library. Actually, this one is using the Adafruit libraries. And a big thank you to Adafruit for supplying and writing all those libraries for the Arduino environment without them uh, it would be pretty dark so anyway I found a library which uh, enabled to load bitmaps from the SD card and uh, I had made it work with the 1.3 inch uh, IPS color display this one here same display and uh, I wanted to show you what I did. So this is my, it's based on this yellow PCB, which is obviously also be used for the new clock that's coming, for the new GPS. And uh, now for this code here, it's practically a picture viewer. And the pictures are loaded from the micro SD card and shown in an interval on the display. Let me start it up. Uh, don't mind the openings on the case. Uh, I did not finish to print the frame for it because this one has diff slightly different uh, uh, arrangements on the micro SD card slot and the on off switch. It will of course be looking like this in the end uh, without this here but with micro SD card uh, with micro SD micro usb to charge it and on off switch obviously sorry about my blabbering so once i turn this on you can see the startup screen heads viewer and then you have uh, different images that's actually me with my this is my wife and the little girl you have seen is my wife's sister's daughter. So her nephew, I guess, niece, niece, not nephew, niece. And then uh, I just put some random pictures on here, nothing in particular. And uh, this is practically, it's like seven or eight pictures only. Of course, you can put uh, many, many more on here and have them shown and uh, you can carry it as your on your keychain so this is it <clears throat> as i said it does load the uh, pictures from the micro sd card and you have practically no um i mean you can put a lot of pictures on here that's what i was trying to say This one has an interval, I think, of, of two seconds. Might be a little too fast, but uh, this is just uh, the first in a, uh, first version of the code. So, and as I said, the frame is not finished yet. I will have to print that, but then I will put this on Tindy probably, or without the pictures, <laughs> or sell it directly. I don't know yet. So this is it. This is my little picture viewer. And since I was a little kid, I always had this dream to have a television this small. And back in the 80s and early 90s, there were actually some, um, the first LCD televisions, small LCD televisions, and then Sony made some with uh, all kinds of different technologies and whatnot but I always wanted a small TV well I can't put a small TV in here but I was able to make a picture viewer 
and uh, this is running on the Atmega 328 so it's not the most powerful chip obviously um, I might recreate or make another PCB that is using either the STM32 or uh, some other similar powerful chip it could be even the uh, ESP actually that would yeah, wouldn't matter but uh, anyway and then have maybe a small uh, video player on this of course you can have this on your phone and whatnot but uh, then again I mean I sold so many clocks and everybody has a clock somewhere right but I still did sell clocks so I am sure one or two people will like this uh, I will definitely wait <clears throat> make one for myself and put it on my keychain so I have my loved ones and uh, things I care about uh, always with me so this is it it does of course charge it has a lipo battery in there and it just here's the micro USB port to charge it uh, I haven't tried it how how long it will run I will try it tomorrow charge it up and then see how long it works but this is it of course you can turn it off if you don't uh, need it and then I kind of like the startup screen if I can get it to focus Okay, I think this time it is in focus. But uh, this is it. It's my version of a picture viewer keychain. Of course, you could have it uh, without the keychain and just a regular back plate. Uh, this is, of course, real carbon fiber. I have uh, frames with the five holes for the near pixels, and then without it, I did not put, didn't want to put any near pixels on this because uh, uh, wouldn't be much of use to have near pixels on this. But this is it. If you're interested, if you have questions, uh, please leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, and also please. Uh, I will put a link in the description for it for the crowd supply campaign that I have for my tiny 1284 development board that will go live soon I guess I hope I still have to answer some questions and uh, supply some information also this board will be sent out to crowd supply next week so they can uh, ev evaluate it evaluate test it try it whatever they do with it and uh, so this is my first open source uh, crowd supply crowdfunding campaign uh, i cannot uh, enter to kickstarter or indiegogo from bulgaria I thought for a while to move to Germany uh, so I will be eligible but um, I will start with crowd supply and see how it goes so if you please uh, like or share or subscribe to this board as I said the link is in the subscription description no subscription description below the video so anyhow i also want to thank all my patreons all nine of them i didn't get double digits yet maybe one day so i have nine uh, very nice people supporting me on patreon and i also have affiliate link to banggood so if you like you can support me there as well and uh, anything else anything else 
I don't think so. So anyway, thanks for all your support and I talk to you on the next one. Take care everybody.